today is March 1st, which means it's officially Women's History Month. <laughs> it is always a good time to uplift women, but that's what we're gonna do. But in March, we love to celebrate in an extra special way. And y'all know I love any excuse just to celebrate, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Hey, did y'all hear that? <laughs> yep, you know what that sound means. It is time for our happy mail. Come on out, Mr. Postman. delivery friend. Oh my God. Don't he look nice, y'all? Get it, Walter. Now, okay, before I ask you for my mail, you know, we have some important business to attend to. You know that? Okay. Because for Christmas, you were my jolly wally. Mm -hmm. Right? Y'all remember? Look how adorable he looked, okay? <laughs> so now you the mailman. That's right. Myself and the viewers think you need a name to be the mailman. Okay. What you come up with? So today I'm happy to announce that your name, hmm, I think it should be Bundle Bestie. What y'all think of that? He, he, Bundle tell Bestie. it to him. He like, eh. Hey, Avery. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Bundle, you don't like it? It's great. Cause you're like Let's a whole it. snack, Mr. <laughs> Mill Man. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, we did our housekeeping. Okay, you know I love a gift okay. and a package. What you yes, got for me? I guess I'm not Okay, thank you, friend. All right, All right. thank you, Bondo Bestie. <laughs> <laughs> friend said, that's my name? Okay, anyway, he, he got other business to attend to. But listen, I've asked you all to share your good news and you guys delivered, so let's read today's happy mail. Here we go. Dear Jennifer, I am writing to tell you all about my amazing 84-year-old mother, Josephine. She was among the integrating class of her high school and later became the principal of that very same institution. Yes, she did. She had an incredible career as an educator and she's a wonderful mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. She's also a huge fan of yours. During your show, she stands up at the TV and shouts, I am proud of you all, okay? She is as proud of you as I am of her, so thank you for helping me celebrate her. Love, Cheryl. That is so beautiful. Thank you for sharing that, Cheryl. And Miss Josephine, you know what? Let me talk to you through the TV and let you know just how proud I am of you, young lady. And thank you so much for all your love and your support and your encouragement. And all I need is just a little bit that keeps me going. And I want to send you something special from the happy place. So you look for that, okay? Because I'm going to send it right on to you. Now, if y'all want to write something, for some happy mail to the show, go to our website and send it right on over. All right. Now, y'all, y'all ready to get this show started? We're going to make Josephine a little more proud of me, okay? All right, well, we fell in love with our first guest on MTV's TRL, and now she's bringing the drama to our screens on BMF. Please welcome Lala Anthony! Who better to kick off Women's History Month than you, Lala? Shout out all the powerful, amazing women in the audience today. <laughs> like, you paved the way for so many women in media, you know what I mean? Yeah, thank you, and so have you. Thank you. So thank have you. you. I was listening to Spotlight the whole way over here. That's my, I don't think I ever told you, that's my favorite Jennifer Hudson song uh, in our world. Thank yes, you! Now, like, repeat, 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 repeat. <laughs> now, you know I'm not going to ask you to sing it. Cause you know I love putting people on the spotlight. Now you know I'm not the singer here. Okay, I'm not gonna do you like that. But okay, I gotta get to this. Cause you, the first thing Lala asked me about was my poor knees. Cause y'all know I played now, at the All Star what? NBA game. You said Jennifer, how your knees doing? Who told you to go out on that court? Them children. <laughs> Them children. Anything for the kids. Anything for the kids. And I heard you play basketball before. Yes. So how are your knees? 
my knees been been all right because I know I know my level. <laughs> I know my level. I, I stay I stay at my level. Okay, I guess I didn't. So look at you, you got game. Yeah. So I played varsity in high school, and I always laugh because I say Cayenne plays basketball, and everybody always says. He got it from his dad. I'm like, you know, he might have got a little something from me too. Yes. Can we get some credit? You like, should. Mom Women's History Month. Give her some credit. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Yes. And I mean, you've been in the game since you were 16 years old. Yes. Interning at a radio station with Chris Lover Lover, who is now known as Ludacris. We started together as teenagers. <laughs> So it's amazing to see how far, you know, we've come. Yes, it is. Like, I've always been a fan of yours. And then, okay, I know we both got babies. And your son, he got a birthday coming up, right? He is turning 17. 17. Like, I don't, it, I, it, I, 17? No. It's crazy to say it. <laughs> He's turning 17 and talking about, like, getting a car about? and stuff. Oh, goodness. I'm terrified of that. You are? Has he, like, started, you know, like, what do you call it when they... Who has, like, a learner's mm -hmm. permit? Okay, so, so he's he been started, driving. But we been live in New York. New York driving is different. Like, they say if you could drive in New York, you could drive anywhere. So, I don't know about the car yet. Yeah, I don't know. I'm worried. Take your time. Yes. I'm not ready for that phase yet. I, I, you're not there yet, mm -hmm. but it's just I'm coming. right behind, y'all. Yeah, that right is behind. I got to ask, how tall is he? He's 6'4". 6'4"? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He okay. is 6'4". He's very tall. Oh, my goodness. So you got a little basketball play on your yes, hands, too. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. A basketball player, but more importantly, an amazing son, an amazing human being, for sure. That's the best. Yeah. I love hearing that. So. Do you give them car pointers and court pointers? What kind of pointers do you give them in tips? I just, on, on the court, I'm, I'm a crazy mom in the stand. No, no, I'm like, <laughs> you I'm crazy. crazy. Like, <laughs> crazy. Like, what you say about my son? Like, crazy. <laughs> and he's always like, mom, relax, right. relax. But it's different when it's your child playing. Like, it's a different feeling. Yes. Like, you ready to go to war for your kid. It's just a different <laughs> feeling. But, you know, I just tell him to play hard, play, play his best. The game comes with highs and lows. You're not going to win every game. As long as you feel like you gave your best effort, that's what matters. That, that's how it should be done and said. Also, you have an amazing organization called 360. Can you tell us about it? So 360 is a prison reform foundation that I started out of Rikers Island, which is in New York for incarcerated youth ages 18 to 21. And it was just so important to me for them to have mentorship and self-esteem workshops. We go there on a weekly basis and just teach them about life and love in general. And the hope and the goal is that when they get released, they can have job opportunities and really make successful individuals out of themselves. And one of my members, Michael Bonilla, just came out of Rikers about a year ago and just got a full scholarship to Columbia University. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. It works. You can take anyone and surround them with the right opportunities and love okay. and care and support and so many amazing things can happen. So it's been so fulfilling for me to have 360 and shout out to everybody that's helped me with 360 to make it such a success. I love hearing that. Thank you. Oh my goodness. You've done so many amazing things. Thank you. Thank you. Now BMF premieres tonight. tonight. Congratulations. BMF season two. Season three. Yes. And you just got season four. Yes. And You're we're on the road. Season four. Yeah, so you see, you see my character is in that hospital bed. So the last season ended with a shootout and no one knew what was gonna happen because I don't know if y'all remember, but on Power, my character got killed. Uh -huh. So I was like, don't kill me off this show, right. please. <laughs> but I'm still here, so tonight <laughs> you will see me on BMF Tonight. It's, it's an incredible show, it's a roller coaster ride. And you know, a lot of people look at it, it's like about a family and they'll say, oh, it's about you know two brothers that were selling drugs. But mm -hmm. at the core, it's about love and loyalty and family. And that's what I love about this story. So I hope everybody you know, is entertained and loves it as much as, as we did making it. Yes, we are entertained and we love everything you're doing. Thank you. Um, what's a dream role for you? A dream role for me, I'm really, I really have this thought in my mind of doing a short film. Mm -hmm. I've just wanted to do a short film based on some things that I've been through in my life that I feel like a lot of women can relate to. So just figuring out how to put my story in a short film, I just have this obsession with short films. So that's what I think my next project for myself is going to be really working on this short film and putting some life trials, tribulations, lessons into this short film that I want to work on. I can't wait to see <laughs> it out because I know you have so many so great much. things in yeah. store. Will you stick around? Of course. I'll stay all day. I'll stay as long as you I want. I love having my Lala here. More with Lala 
in a few. We'll be right back. We're back with Lala Anthony. Now, you were just at the Usher concert. I'm, well, the Super Bowl, that is, right? No, no, you, <laughs> no look, you said, you said it right the first time, the Usher concert. And you were with your girls? Mm -hmm. We had so, oh, yes, we had so much fun. It is different being there and seeing what he did live right, right there. Watching on, on TV is incredible, but being there and that energy, I just was going crazy. I yeah. mean, Usher is the greatest performer of our generation, and I was just honored to be there to see that. Yeah, yes, to see him perform. What's your favorite? Do you have a favorite? What's your favorite Usher song? Oh my God, there's so many. My favorite Usher song? I mean, you know, yeah, obviously it will get you up to dancing, but then let it burn you in a whole nother mind. Yeah. Confessions, you yes. in a whole nother place. Like, he'll take you. You remind me. I mean, he'll. He'll take you on a journey. Oh, no, you journey. can't. You, it's the same thing with your catalog. You can't Thank go you. wrong. Any song you pick, it's a winner. Anyone. Thank you for yes, that. For yes. sure. But you sound like me. And then you hang out with your squad. Like, how do you pick? Because you have some dope friends. Thank you. How do you pick who to choose with? And when? How, what's the conversation? Like, be here, look fierce, and come on out. Because look at this picture. That's a good what one. in the world? You know what's so funny, though? When we do talk to each other, I'm like, Tell me how you guys are really dressing, because you know, see, my friends are the type that's like, just wear anything. Then you show up and you like, yeah, wear what's, anything. Right, what's like, your idea of anything? Yeah, that's what, I, you have to clarify that with your friends, because everybody's definition of just wearing anything is different. And this crew right here, they don't play around. When they say wear anything, it means wear the best thing in your closet. That's, <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Do you all see it? Talking about wear anything, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look, I want to play a game with okay. you to see which girlfriend you choose to do, like hang out with okay. in these things, okay? okay? Three women. Okay. And you have to choose who you're taking. Okay. And where you're taking them to. All right. Okay. Which one you taking to brunch? So for brunch, I'm taking Sierra. She's. I can see that. She like to eat. She like. She I know to. that. This girl, <laughs> for her body eat. to be so incredible, right. this girl eat. This girl eat. So I'm taking her to brunch because she's gonna pick the most amazing. We all supposed to go to dinner yes. too, so we're gonna do okay. that. But I'm taking her to brunch, for clubbing and having fun. I'm going with Rihanna. Rihanna we about to we about to hit the right. club and turn up and have a good time. I feel like that's Rihanna a Rihanna know how to have a good time. Miley, what was the other? The spa. All right, we could get we could get some massages and just okay. real quick. I'm okay. cool with that. I gotta throw one more in there. Okay. Which one would you have? Like, let's have dinner. I want you to eat at my house and I'm gonna cook. Who cooking you? Who eating? cooking? I, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I didn't. Who know. cooking? Don't put me up there because I know I would not get picked. Who, who, who <laughs> cooking? Not me. <laughs> not, that's not me. Um, Sierra cooks pretty well. This, so no, had she could come to yet. my place and she can cook. But oh. um, me in the kitchen, you don't want to do that. What she cook? Okay. No, she could cook. She I got, need a plate. She got a little Sierra. something. She got a little something. Okay. We, you know what? We got three more ladies. Okay. Now what are we doing with them? These are all like, come on. This is icon after icon after icon. This is. Which incredible. one would you okay. want to hang out with the most? Out of I the three. I think I would want to hang out the most with Angela Bassett. I just love Angela Bassett. I mean, I you just, can't go wrong. Like, love everything about her. It's like when you're around her, you just want to hug her and like. Just teach me everything. Just give me all yes. the knowledge. Like, I just love her so much. Okay. But I love Viola as well. She's incredible. Love Meryl. I mean, icons across the board. Which one would you take to the club? To the club? <laughs> to the club? You know what? Viola gonna turn up. I you think like Viola gonna turn, turn up? up? She gonna turn up. With the right music, she gonna turn up. We going to the club. And the spa, I could do the spa with, with Meryl and just get all the acting tips that I, I can. I don't know, I think Meryl may do kind of good in the club, You think Meryl might be good in the club? <laughs> <laughs> she might. She, she might. might. She might. Okay. okay. Ooh, ooh, this okay. is a tough one. So I would say brunch, Normani. Okay. Definitely just would love to, she's just such a like beautiful a person inside and out. Yes. I would just love to hang out with Very her. Very warm. Club, definitely Chloe. That's a no-brainer. We gonna turn up, that's like little sis right there and have a great yes. time. And spa, I guess me and Billy could go to the spa and have some yeah. fun. Why not? To some By the way, she's she's a cool, cool girl. Like yeah. she is dope in so many ways. So yeah, I hit the spa with her. All right. Well, I gotta hit the spot with you one day. Yes, okay. We, do. we gotta hang we out. Do. And thank you for coming to my spot, Lala. Of and course, I will come here anytime you call. I just love you. seeing you. I love seeing what you're doing. You're such an inspiration to so many people. And anytime I get tired, mm -hmm. I'm like. You doing a million things. If you could do it, I could do it. You motivate me in so many ways. Thank you, babe. You motivate me. Be sure to catch season three of BMF premiering tonight on Stars. Welcome back.
This season, I love surprising deserving people in my audience, and I want to keep it going by honoring someone who's putting themselves first. This is our new segment called Friday Flex. Today, I like to celebrate Valerie. Her daughter, Vanessa, sent us an amazing video in her honor. Take a look. Hey, Jennifer. So I just want to take a quick moment and nominate my mom, Valerie, to be honored at your show. Back in 2018, my mom was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. And as you can imagine, it was just a roller coaster of emotions. But I'm just so glad and thrilled that my mom is now officially five years cancer free. And you know, my mom has just been someone who has always had the best outlook on life. And I'm just glad that she's finally taking a moment to focus on herself. Jennifer, I would love nothing more than for you to just love on my mom today from her daughter who loves her so, so much, Vanessa. Are you surprised? I am so surprised. <laughs> wow. Like, oh my God. How I did... get to see you. You're so beautiful. Thank you. You are beautiful. Oh and your God. daughter's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank We're you so grateful so to have you here. You know? I'm so glad to be here. It's been a long journey. Yes. Um, I just, you know, I thank God each day. I was diagnosed, when I was diagnosed, I was told like a common cold. And so the doctor called me on a Friday before, um, Memorial Day weekend, mm -hmm. and he said, I just wanted to let you know you have breast cancer. And I said, really? I said, it doesn't run in my family. Are you sure? And he says, yes, you have breast cancer. Oh and so I told him to, um, I asked him what stage I was. And he said, you're, you're um, you know, I, he says, you'll find out on Tuesday when you go see the oncologist. And I'm like, that was the worst weekend of my life. Right. I sat there and I was just, you know, it makes you think about life. Every, your life flashes before you. You're thinking, oh, my God, what am I going to do about my daughter? What am I going to do, you know, me raising my daughter by myself? It's, mm -hmm. just, it's just, you know, it, it was very, very emotional. Like, I, I cried that whole weekend because I didn't know. It was the, you know, fear of the unknown. Yes. And so my daughter has really helped me through this journey. I have really good friends. You know, I met Miss Ann. She loves you. Miss Ann loves you, and you know she passed away from breast cancer. And I met her from her daughter. Her daughter and me worked together. We were co-workers. And when I was going through my journey, her daughter brought her mom with her, and that's when I first met her. And then me and her became close friends. Mm -hmm. And then a year later, she was diagnosed. And then when she was diagnosed, then I helped her through her journey. You know, God puts people together for reasons, and you I really believe that every day you know i just i just want to tell people to just please you guys go get your mammograms i mean i i just you know i just went to get it because i was supposed to get it you know mm -hmm. and i did not have no idea that none, i had no sign, none, no sign at all no pain nothing and then when i found out i had breast cancer i was still in disbelief about it but you know i made it through i you know i always would put other people before myself and so through this journey, I've learned to, um, you know, I've learned to take care of myself. Well, today we're honoring you with our Friday Flex, okay? So this is for you, right here. Oh you see your water bottle right there? That is to remind you doing workouts that even when you sweat, you shine bright because you're such a light. Thank you. And speaking of hydrating, I think you deserve a little something else to get you to your next goal. So okay. Nordatrack S22i Studio Bike has smart adjust technology. It changes your ride based on your heart rate and can adjust an incline and decline and speed and simulates real world terrain. You're getting an iFit membership and bike. So this is for you. and that somebody is you, you stay blessed and you stay positive, okay? Because it will continue to make a difference for so many. All right. All right. We got a miracle sitting right here. We'll be right back. 
Okay, listen, I pride myself with my whistling skills, and I got to show them off in my Super Bowl commercial, but I'm nowhere near the level of our next guest. Please welcome professional whistler, Molly Lewis. Okay, girl, I, this is my type of zhuzh. I am so excited to just to learn about the whole world of whistling. First of all, tell me, how did you get into whistling? Oh, gosh, well, I mean, it's, I've been whistling since I was a kid. I, I guess, you know, like most children, I wanted to learn to whistle, and I tried very hard, and then I eventually made a sound. Um, but, I, <laughs> but, but, you know, some people never make the sound. I feel like there's kind of two types of people, people who think they can't whistle and, you know, people who... Can. But my thing with whistling is, okay, let me tell you the story. Okay, okay so I recently, let me tell y'all. So I recently did a tribute to Mariah Carey, right? And you know she, <laughs> who's a good friend, Molly? Oh. And she hits whistle notes. So when I'm singing in the middle of something and I don't feel like hitting a note, I whistle it. So my MD is like, Jennifer, it sounds like you're singing when you're whistling. So when I did the tribute to Mariah, I was like, you know what? I'm going to whistle the whistle note. <laughs> But Molly, nobody told me you can't whistle with a dry mouth. Oh. Child, Mariah Carey is sitting right here in my face, and I, that makes you nervous enough. And that's my friend, right? And I go to do the... <laughs> when I, I said, ain't nothing coming out. <laughs> nothing came out of my mouth. So what's the trick to, like, well, I guess you got to have, like, some type of moisture. Lots of chapstick, I, you know. I, I wish I had a mention before that. I know, I could have to told tell you me that. a thing or two about yeah. chapstick and um, staying hydrated. It's, you know, it's important. Molly, how did you discover that there was a profession in whistling? I guess my parents recognized I was whistling a lot, and um, it was probably, you know, annoying them slightly, but um, <laughs> they, they were very encouraging, and they also noticed I had a talent for it, and they bought me a CD for my birthday of a professional whistler, and they also showed me this documentary called Pucker Up, um, which if you're interested in whistling, it's an incredible documentary about the international whistling competition, um, and so I Their saw this. competition? Yes. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, see you at the next one, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know I'm always trying something. Y'all gonna see me up there trying to whistle, too. Okay. Um, can you whistle or something? Sure. Uh... Right? Don't you want to hear it? <laughs> I love a whistle. Um, any requests? Oh, what about... Because you were on the Barbie song. Oh, yes. Um... That's one of my favorite songs. Oh, can, can you, yeah. Can you do that song? Yeah, I'll... Oh. Do a little bit of that for you. Um, okay. <laughs> um, now I, I gotta get in the whistle zone now. Okay. <laughs> um. Etta James. At last? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, sure. Okay. Um, okay. Wow. Maybe a sip of water. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna um, sip mine too. Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. Get it, Molly. Yes. Try. <laughs> okay, ooh, how about Amazing Grace? Um, okay.
Okay. Can you tell us about your album? Oh yeah, well, I have an album. Um, <laughs> you have an album. Uh, yeah. Um, I I wrote an album last year with some wonderful musicians in LA. Um, this producer Tom Brannick, who I worked worked with over a few albums we've done. Um, you you know and love all my other whistle albums, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> but this is the latest one and. <laughs> It's called On the Lips, and uh, it's 10 songs of whistle, loungy, instrumental music. Um, it kind of, I have like a, a live show. It's very much like a lounge show. Um, so I wanted the album to feel like how it feels to go to this show. You know, you sit down and there's a candle on the table and you sip a martini and mm -hmm. uh, wear your finest uh, outfit and, you know, watch a, a, a band and a, a whistler. So. I love it <laughs> so much. As you do. <laughs> thank you. It's so unique. It's so beautiful. It's oh, really oh, Coming from you. Oh, thank you. So thank you for coming to the happy place. You. Will you come back again? Of course. Thank you. Oh, I love it so much. You can listen to more of Molly's music on her debut LP on the lips. I know we are available now on all streaming platforms. We'll be right back. You ain't never seen nothing like this. Welcome back. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's the first day of Women's History Month. So, thank you. I want to talk about some of the women who have shaped and continue to shape the music in industry in a segment I am calling Women's History Month Music Edition. As y'all already know, two of my biggest musical influences are Aretha Franklin and Whitney Houston. They had powerhouse voices that inspired me since day one. I respect them and I will always, always love them. Another one of my favorites is Miss Patti LaBelle. She is another musical icon. I am proud to say I know her. She started her career in the early 60s and is known as the godmother of soul. Of course, I also want to shout out the one and only Miss Mariah Carey. MC is a legend. I love hearing her sing, and she's a great songwriter as well. I have to throw that in there. I love hearing her sing. I love singing with her, and I am so honored to be able to call her my friend. And we have to talk about another great, I say she is a saxophone with words, Miss Celine Dion. She... Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how many power ballads she has given us from My Heart Will Go On. It's all coming back to me now, all by myself. I mean, what a voice. And finally, no conversation about women and music could be had without of course, my fellow dream girl, Miss Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce has won 32 Grammys. That's more than any artist in history. Her new album comes out on March 29th. Y'all, I cannot wait for it, and I cannot wait to hear it. Uh, these are only a few of these most incredible women that has shaped music history, has inspired me as well, and so many of us all together. We wouldn't be here without them. So I love talking about them and listening to them and watching them work and seeing them be the example that they are. And I want to continue to celebrate them. So I'm going to keep doing that. Yes, I will. All right. So y'all stick around. Happy Women's History Month, everybody. We'll be right back. We got so many more to go. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.